Hello all, Derek Brown from Washington State University here with a new tutorial on RSS feeds. Our boss, Dan Nordquist, has recently done a YouTube Tuesday video for Encura on this topic, and we thought a little more detail on what exactly an RSS feed is and how exactly to subscribe to one may be helpful. So let's get started. So what exactly is an RSS feed and how do you find them? An RSS feed is a great way to stay in the loop on announcements in a timely manner. These are a web feed used to publish frequently updated works. In our business, this could be funding opportunities, award notifications, news release items, regulation updates, state and regional topics, and more. These feeds are found on many common websites, and you will need what is called an RSS reader to use them. Microsoft Outlook 2010 has one of these built in, which I will now demonstrate with an example from our friends at the USDA. On their website, the USDA has several popular features, including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and more. What we have circled is the universally recognized RSS feed symbol. Wherever you see that, you should be able to grab their feeds. Click on the orange icon and you will be taken to a website with the three USDA RSS feeds for selection. At this point, you will need to choose which RSS feed you wish to review or subscribe to. The USDA offers three main feeds, USDA Home, Latest News, and Recovery Plans, Programs, and Reports. You will want to click on the orange XML box on the feed you wish to look into. We'll choose latest news for our example. So once you select the XML of choice, you will be directed to a website listing a summary of all of the recent items on that feed. This page is very important if you determine this list is of interest to you, as you will eventually copy this website URL address to add this feed to Outlook, which I will detail in just one second. Adding a feed to Outlook 2010 is a very simple five-step process. The first step is finding the RSS feeds area in Outlook. This will typically be on the sidebar to the left depending on your Outlook configuration. Right-clicking on that reveals the option to add a new RSS feed, which is what you'll want to select. Once you've chosen that, a pop-up box will appear asking for the location of the RSS feed you wish to add to Outlook. At this point, we will now reference back to the USDA summary website I mentioned just a few seconds ago. If you wish to add this RSS feed, you will need to copy the site URL from your browser and paste it back into the pop-up box. You may have to do some Control c and Control v action here depending on your web browser. Once you click Add, that should be it for subscribing to the feed. Well now what? We've just added the USDA latest news releases RSS feed to our Outlook program. This image shows all of the RSS feeds we have subscribed to. You'll see NSF, DOE, Department of Interior, news highlights, grants.gov information, our own internal WSU news feeds, and more. Also included is this new USDA feed we just added. Now comes the easy part. Inside of your RSS feed folder, notices will just start coming in automatically. New items will be bolded similar to emails, and you can organize this folder however you wish. RSS feeds are really that simple. I hope this tutorial has proven helpful in your quest to become the RSS feed guru in your office. Thank you and go Cougs!